This is your brother Van Silk taking his walk day after Hurricane Helene down here in Florida. So right now, I'm going back to WNBA Ballers. You can check us out on Rumble.com. Okay, we on Instagram. So listen, I ain't been on WNBA Ballers in a minute. I need to say this. Got on my white t-shirt. Hope I don't get hit by a car. Okay, so I'm watching the playoffs, man. I'm like, listen, congratulations to Minnesota Lynx. They beat the Mercury. The Aces beat the Storm. Connecticut won and the Liberties won. But here's my problem I'm having. And I'm saying this here. The Liberty played the Atlanta Dream. They're a good team. Told my boy early, a couple of months ago, a couple, about five weeks ago, that the Atlanta Dream is going to be a team to watch because a lot of their players were hurt during this season. Even though there was no competition for the Liberties. No, let me take that back. They gave them, some, they gave them a run for their money. They did. And Connecticut played the fever, sent Caitlin Clarkson home. I don't know what made think, think Caitlin Clarkson fans thinking that they were going to beat the, the Connecticut Sun. When you got the first two games on their home court floor, I guess all the Indiana fans was waiting for them to come back. That wasn't going to happen. But this is what did happen early this year before the All-Star break. I was telling my man, the fever, there was five teams in the WNBA that had winning records. So them losing one game to the fever didn't matter. Connecticut, Seattle, Minnesota, Phoenix, the Mercury, Connecticut Sun, all lost the game to the fever. Those five games was definitely going to ensure them having at least the eighth spot in the playoffs because WNBA needed them in the playoffs. And then, you know, Carrington hit, uh, what's her Clark in the eye by accident. Oh, they should suspend her. If y'all looked at the, if y'all looked at the Atlanta Dream and Liberty game, them girls was getting bounced all over the place, man. Hard fouls and all that. People act like Caitlin Clark is just supposed to let her shoot and do what she want to do. No. Send her ass home, go fishing. But this is what's pissing me off this morning. Chicago Sky. You fired Teresa Weatherspoon, hip basketball royalty, after one year as a rookie coach? You fired her? She didn't trade Marbury to the Connecticut Suns. Y'all did. Okay? Andrew Reese got hurt. Okay? Y'all don't have no real guards. Y'all cut the other girl. I forgot her name. Kersey. You let her go. Kennedy was sick with COVID. Kennedy Carr was sick. Same thing with the fever. Why you're treating Nalissa Smith the way you're treating her, a person that y'all need on the floor in the playoffs, you're only going to play six minutes. And here's another dumb move with the Indiana fever. Kelsey Mitchell's an unrestricted free agent, so now she decides not to sign back with y'all. Y'all not going to get nothing for her, because without Kelsey Mitchell, without Aaliyah Boston, and without Nalissa Smith, the Fever had no chance of winning any games. But remember, Caitlin Clark plays the most minutes in the WNBA. She has the most turnovers. And I'm not saying she's a good player. But now who's going to want to come and play with Indiana? That's going to be the question. Now, as we move on, Nalissa Smith. Yeah, her girlfriend plays. Her girlfriend, Carrington, plays for the Sun. Y'all going to try and sit up here and say, oh, she played... She didn't play as hard because she want her girlfriend to win. Y'all sound stupid, okay? And Caitlin Clark do got a nasty attitude. Could with Bronner on the Suns, you gonna just push your hands off? And like, listen, you always fall when you take a, a three. You want every you don't you don't commit no foul enough, but you still had the most technicals in the in the WNBA. You just one game away from being to sit out one technical away from sitting out a game. 
And to all you stupid fans that's making posts today, oh, the WNBA rating crash since the fever loss. They haven't played any games. Stupid. There's been no games played since the first round. So how the ratings crashed? You know what, man? When I look at these Caitlin Clark fans, they don't know nothing about basketball. That's why I'm not going to watch the WNBA because fever, they, they, they need to suspend this person. Like, Caitlin Clark ain't ever fouled nobody or hit anybody in the face. She pushes off on every every dribble. She just pushed off. Your girls need to start smacking her arm. Make that shit hurt. She do the same shit James Harden do. But I'm not sitting up here to bag Caitlin Clark. I'm sitting up here to say... There's going to be a lot of changes in the WNBA. A lot of teams going to look different next year. I can tell you something right now. Chelsea Mitchell's probably going to go to the sky. Play with Angel and Cardosa. And don't be surprised if Melissa Smith want to get traded to Chicago. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if, if Teresa Weatherspoon end up coaching the Los Angeles Sparks. Or don't be surprised, she might end up coaching Washington, D.C. You never know. Because I don't think you should fire her after one year. She stuck with Kennedy Carter, who saved a lot of games. Okay? She's a rookie coach. Y'all had no real guards on that team. Like, come on, Evans and Allen ain't no real guards. It's like... Did y'all even check with Cardosa or, or Angel Reese to see was it okay to fire Teresa Weatherspoon? Good morning. Because honest with you, if y'all didn't check with those two girls who's the future of the team, then y'all got no loyalty, no respect. Now, Teresa Weatherspoon might have did some things on the side of the court. Certain things happened. You know, she she's a grinder. She She's tough boy ball. But... You know, we're not going to sit up here and play softball. If the, if the owners of the fever would have listened to all the stupid fans, oh, get rid of uh, Sides. When they, was, when they was losing early in the season, Chrissy Sides ended up com- becoming pretty good with the team. Found a rotation. The players learn how to play with each other. This ain't, this ain't college basketball. I want to know what Tina Charles going to go to next. So she definitely don't want to stay, I think, with Washington. Melissa Smith definitely don't want to be with the fever. Kelsey Mitchell, who they're going to have to probably, she's going to have to probably be the highest paid player if the fever want her back. Otherwise, she's out, she's gone. And I also got a suspicion that uh, Skylar Diggins could end up on, 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 the, on the Chicago sky. I mean, she just came to the Seattle Storm, you know, but, you know, I think they prefer to keep Jewel Lloyd, who, who stunk in the playoff. Skylar Diggins still got, she's still, to me, one of the top 10 guards in this league. And she, she, she's not a shoot-first player, you know. But who going who gonna to go to Indiana? It's going to be the decision. That's going to be the tough choice. Who's going to go to Indiana? And my prediction to win WNBA championship is the Liberties, man. Got to go with the Liberties. Number one defense. Oh, no, the Suns got the number one defense. But we'll see. For Minnesota, the Lynx could be a problem, too. But when these games come on, we're going to see right now who's going to do what. And on another note, I was watching Andrew Reese podcast, Unapologetic. And I was reading a lot of the comments. She interviewed Cheryl Swoops. And I think there was a question posed about if she wanted to join the coaching staff of Chicago. Who knows if Chicago might turn around and offer that job or Teresa Weatherspoon to Cheryl Swoops. If I was any one of the raw teeth in basketball that played in the WNBA and won championships, I don't think any player should take that job out of respect. You can't be firing, just go to fire her after one year. What did she do? If I was Cheryl Swoops and I got the job, yo, can I bring in Teresa Witherspoon as an assistant coach? Hmm. Oh, well, then I don't want the job. It ain't always about the money. 
you know? It ain't always about the money. You fired a coach from the Los Angeles Sparks, but their number one player got hurt. The rookie sensation Brinks. Cameron Brinks got hurt. What y'all expect, what y'all expect to do for, her, for the team to do? See, maybe y'all should have drafted Andrew Reese number two. Cardoso could have been picked, but I already know what y'all did and why y'all did. What y'all did. Now, I'm, I just love the way the girls play in the WNBA. Make no mistake. But Caitlin Clark is a good player. She can see the floor, good passer. You know, she's still slacking defense. She got to get a mid-range game. Because the second year is going to be hard. And the WNBA definitely got to change their bargaining rules because Juju Watkins should only have to play two years. They need to change that. And Paige Becker's coming. And you know one thing, if Paige Becker number one, the Sparks, I think they have, the Sparks can end up with her. Or either the Chicago Sky can end up with Paige Becker. But I know one thing, there's about three or four guards that ain't going to be on their team next season. I'm going to say I think Scarlett Diggins might be going. I think Kennedy Clark Carter is going. I'm walking out here in all these trucks and everybody, lawn people. Kelsey Mitchell's going. I know Melissa Smith definitely it went out the fever. It's going to be crazy for next season. But let's see what happened to this new league. I don't know if, Do if Tarasi is going to retire. She might want to play one more year. Keep the locker room right. I'm surprised that Mercury got beat up like that, man. I'm really surprised, but the Lynx ain't no joke. And then, you know, Teresa Weatherspoon could end up in Dallas, too, with the Wings. But she's more of an East Coast girl. I can see her ending up in Washington, D.C. But we'll see. But y'all make sure y'all check out Andrew Reese's show, Unapologetic, on YouTube with Andrew Reese. This is your brother, Van Silk, with WNBA Ballers. I'm out.